This tiny timber town, once frozen in time with empty streets and stocked store shelves, still remains standing today to tell its story. The Boniface Arts Center is bringing Selling Nama and its struggle to life. You know, it is the, the story of a tenacious community who had to remake themselves and it's a place you don't feel and sense and see and experience every day. Everybody works together and it's like one extended family. For 70 years, Nama existed as a lumber town, providing jobs and stabilizing the community. However, back then, the term preservation was somewhat of an afterthought. What happened here in Nama happened to small towns all across the country. The industry that brought it to life was now all gone. With all of the town's forest and timber no more, the town was left in an unsettling situation. Determined to not leave the town of 750 people in the dust, the Badenoch Lumber Company put the town up for sale in 1951. Dozens of ads were placed across the country with one stipulation, whoever took over had to create jobs. The American Playground Company purchased NEMA, but for various reasons was only able to employ about a third of the residents. What struck me was the compassion in the original sale that the, co the company uh, seemed to have for the citizens of, of NEMA and really truly wanting this, this, this community to survive, not to just let it, you know, turn into a ghost town, so. To tell this story, it really did take a community. Within the past few years, town residents unearthed an old scrapbook, gathered numerous oral accounts, collected forgotten photos, as well as a rare home movie or two. While the focus of the mission is to recount the history of the town, ensuring NEMA's future is still a top priority. It's interesting in that it's trying to gather both the, the oldest part of the history of NEMA and also the current activities that are going on there today. Currently, NEMA is home to about 500 people, with the town hotel and general store still open. For ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis.